we have been doing ANC work. MK has invaded our space and uh, we're doing what is right, we're defending what belongs to us. And there's not, uh, it's not a spending time on any book. Uh, if uh, Zuma created a party and he called it the uh, Zuma comeback, we wouldn't have challenged him. Even if we lose the trademark, we will appeal it. That's what we will do because uh, that is the trademark of the African National Congress. We don't spend time on, on, on any other political party. We campaign daily and that is what we've been doing. What they have done, they've invaded our space. They are an irritation uh, for what they are doing, irritating us knowing very well that this belongs to us. And that we stand up for what is good for our membership and the ANC history. Legal recourse allows you to appeal whatever judgment is handed down. That's within your constitutional right as the organization. But some within the NC are saying this is sidetracking you in a way. It's taking your energy away from campaigning and fighting one of the hardest elections yet. My energy has been on the ground. I've never been sidetracked as a person. I implement what is the decision of the ANC and that is what I do. And one of those decisions was to challenge MK party and uh, if uh, my energy is being spent is spent on one thing it's incorrect where am I now where is my energy now I'm standing in the middle of a street in Mikeling campaigning hard and then where was I yesterday where was I yesterday yesterday not sleeping campaigning and then uh, do I spend my time thinking about Zuma he thinks about us all the time I don't think about him. I challenge him. He but, knows that um, Konto belongs to us and uh, he's not our manifesto. Sure. And uh, that is what we, we, we don't do. And okay. uh, I don't go here and tell people. <clears throat> I've, I've, I've been out to how many houses now? <clears throat> many houses. <clears throat> ne? Nobody told me about Zuma. The MK, because it is a factor. You may downplay that, but it is a factor that you have suffered back to back losses and you are running out of time. The elections are fast approaching. I, uh, I, I am not uh, spending and we are not spending any time. Where am I now? I'm in Mikuleng. Mm. And then the people here are not even thinking about what you are asking me about. <laughs> and then you are saying I'm spending time. Who's asking me about MK? It's you. You are invading my space, <laughs> uh, chasing me about Zuma, whom I'm dealing with him in court. Yeah. Yes, I lo I've lost those particular cases and all of that. Uh, water under the bridge and that is it you are chasing me asking me about zuma in the middle of my campaigning and then you tell me that i'm thinking about him well i dreamt well last night <laughs> and i dreamt about the victory of the nc and i'm feeling good about the people here talking about the nc the challenges and robust with us about what we need to do more i am over the mountain does that concern you I've been campaigning here. I've never seen those people you are talking about. I'm here. I've not seen any one of the people you are talking about. John S. Dazed. I'm not worried about it. Uh, there are people who are campaigning. There are posters, but they don't have people on the ground. I'm here. I'm on the ground, door to door. Yeah, in Mikiling, Fixburg. The people of Mikiling, I'm talking to them in their houses. And then uh, we've been touching base with them more than 10 times. So we're, we're, we don't see them. We are not worried about opponents. Uh, we will see the scoreboard uh, on the 29th. We're not worried. We do what we do. We account to the people. And it is that time of accountability where we've got to ask our people to give us uh, uh, their vote and overwhelming victory for the NC. You that has been crying for service delivery for years. You do know what has been happening in the past. There was an appalling concerned citizens and residents. Are you threatened in this area? Uh, you don't campaign because you are threatened. You <coughs> ask for people to vote uh, for the ANC, which is what uh, we've been doing for years, and this is no exception. You don't campaign because there is a threat. You are humbled by the masses of the people. We've been going into the houses of people, talking to them. They've been raising their issues and they are very much appreciative of the ANC. And they also they give a harsh talk, uh, raising also their voices in relation to the challenges that they face. Uh, top of the agenda is uh, unemployment. Uh, young people have graduated, supported by the ANC. What their parents are saying here is that uh, 
uh, let's focus on the lack of creation of jobs and that is what our manifesto speaks about those are long-standing issues that they have been raising for years that the NEC led government has been struggling to uh, challenges will always arise and uh, they arise they arise because uh, we too in government are faced with challenges in terms of the underperforming economy uh, which has not been really uh, uh, one of uh, the strongest uh, uh, points in terms of the past five years it has been our Achilles heel and uh, you know the reasons uh, in terms of the underperforming economy COVID and all of that but they were way on track now to ensure that we create 2.5 uh, million uh, job opportunities in the country. And on top it of will, what it, you promised before. Uh, jobs, creation, and the economy is cyclical. Okay. And uh, whoever and whatever happens all the time, the question is, are we able to rise to the occasion? And we are. And uh, that is why uh, this remains a priority because we live in a society where uh, there is a huge inequality uh, in relation to the economy and the setup of the South African economy. Perpetuals or Thank you.